Hello everyone, my name is Duncan White. I'm the managing editor of the International Fire and Safety Journal. I'm here at Intersec in Dubai and I'm delighted to be joined by JP Ajami from Global Fire Equipment. JP, hi friend, it's always a pleasure. Good afternoon. It, it's, uh, it's nice to sit down again. Last time we were sitting down it was in the sunshine in Portugal. Now we're in the sunshine in Dubai, but uh, not that there's much sunshine indoors. Give me some of the highlights that GFE are doing on the stand here this week in Intercept. Well, basically, uh, we have to be here. Uh, Intersec is clearly the show to be from an international point of view. Uh, it's where East meets, meets West. Uh, you have people all the way from uh, Brazil, people all the way from the Philippines, from uh, uh, Australia, everywhere. Everybody comes here and uh, it certainly is a show uh, worth it. We have been coming here since 2008 uh, and very, very happy to be here again. Middle East is an important region for, for GFE. Um, what makes it important and what is there that's exciting you within the region going forward? Well, uh, the Middle East region uh, is a mix of many cultures, a mix of many um, ways of looking at security and uh, safety. And in fact, for us, it's extremely important to be part of their effort in becoming a, a safer society and in making sure that they are protected adequately from whatever can happen. In our case, the fire protection uh, uh, ideals and the fire protection efforts in this region are paramount. And of course, it's a region that is in constant growth. Uh, in constant evolution, so draws us to create very interesting ways of protecting people and property. So it's uh, definitely a place to be. Exactly. When you look at the, the, the mega projects that are going on in the in the Middle East and that uh, ever growing, chasing the next largest building, looking at some of the architectural designs that are coming on, life safety within those um, unique buildings is paramount. And uh, I think that um, people that choose GFE to work with in relation to life safety aren't going to go too far wrong. 2024 is going to be exciting with the acquisition, with the ongoing development. And um, what are GFE doing here in the Middle East and what are you looking at doing globally? Well, uh, it is indeed the year uh, that is going to bring a lot of uh, satisfaction as well because uh, besides having to integrate the whole naval portfolio into our production capabilities, into, uh, into the system, let's put it this way, as we did uh, some years back with uh, the emergency lighting products of Createc, um, is going to be a challenge, but also is already on a good way to being finished. So, uh, in fact, our production capability is uh, increasing significantly. Besides that, uh, we have just finished installing uh, a 330 kilowatts uh, solar park in uh, the entrance of our factory, which basically will mean that we are uh, very close to being carbon neutral, if not in some cases carbon negative. Uh, that is uh, a big, big uh, interest of mine. We are looking also at uh, creating an uh, energy storage system that will enable us to take full advantage of the wonderful sunshine of the Algarve. Exactly, and uh, having had the privilege of spending time with JP and his wonderful family of people down in um, the Algarve, and when you look at the, the facility, which was a old port factory, and is um, blessed to have a beautiful chimney, I think the question I'm asking is, have we got a stalk nesting in the chimney yet? Not yet. Uh, we have been working on it. Uh, the council has uh, promised that they will uh, help some conservation, the conservationists uh, install the nest over there, uh, but it's not always that uh, we are able to do that. You know, it uh, takes time to convince people to do things. Indeed it does, and I think that um, anybody that's got a passion or an interest in uh, life safety within the uh, technical and electronic world, if you're in the Algarve or anywhere near the GFE factory, it's well worth a visit. JP, my friend, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming over. I'm Duncan White. I'm the managing editor of the International Fire and Safety Journal. Thank you very much.